Hi, my name is Rosie, and this is the video reflection discussion number two. And um, within the readings that we needed to read, I definitely um, learned a lot about uh, the different theories, um, including the feminist theories, and critical thinking within those theories. So um, I wanted to, and I, I as I was reading the, the discussion post and the things that we needed to retain as far as the information goes um, and self-awareness, I, I wanted to delve into the self-awareness because um, I actually think that in uh, within my family, um, me and my husband and I, we work, and I think that because of our day in, day out, our schedules are the same, we keep schedules, um, and my son has developed a social learning theory. and. Um, I think that's generational um, in some sense. And um, I think that the more that we can continue to um, have goals and strive for those and work hard, um, he will hopefully adopt those those same things that we do in his own life when he gets old enough to move on on his own. And so the, the, the social learning theory is... Uh, I think a lot of people actually use that in their daily lives. As far as all the other theories, self theory, the theory of intelligence, um, critical thinking theories, um, behavior theory, uh, the stage theory, moral development theory, faith development theory, those, those, um, all those theories, um, actually having to utilize them as a social worker. Um, I may not be a social worker through a master's program yet, but I think that I, it's in my heart. And um, as being a counselor now and working with individuals, um, I am client-centered. And I believe that um, how I act and, and what, I, what I apply in, in our individual sessions or even in group sessions, um, I believe that um, those are things that, that the women will learn as well so I I do use a lot of motivational inter interviewing and um, my behavior as a social worker um, or a counselor um, definitely we pay off by how they act in the in the in the group room or even in my office so um, and when they don't uh, if a lot of my clients now have to be in um, my clinic due to CPS and getting their kids back so uh, they have to come in and test they have, they have to apply by all the rules uh, or they have to you know they have to abide by all the rules and um, they get positive reinforcement when they do because they get their kids back and they also get negative reinforcement if they don't so if they test dirty I it's my job to model and be uh, a good role model and a good counselor and and always practice um, my ethical standards and the things that and follow the laws and policies of my job. I hope I made sense. Um, that was a lot of my self-awareness and um, all the things that I've read. I think I would like to, it's better for me and for learning to apply them to my own life and see where they fit. Thanks.